A long time ago, this channel started like 12 years ago with a Baofeng UV5R. And since then, China and other companies have come out with a lot of inexpensive radios that have good features that actually operate really well and look better and have more, you know, screen than a typical Baofeng UV5R. And in the last many years, I've kind of dipped away from a lot of these radios because I just felt that a lot of them were redundant. But now I step back into it. Companies start sending me these, like this one and this one, both from TID Radio. People call it TID Radio. I call it TID Radio. Um, and what happens is we got features on a radio like this for $42. Actually, there's a sale right now on Amazon uh, in the link description below where you can pick up something like this, which will do VHF, UHF, uh, you know, handbands. Okay. It'll also do GMRS if you choose to use that and AM airband received, but wait, there's more, right? Besides the color screen and all that, you can actually, this has Bluetooth. So you can program this on your couch using a, 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 a phone or a tablet with the OD Master app and just type in stuff and program your radio right there on the spot. Or if you're not tech savvy like that, it comes with a USB-C cable, you can do it that way. Or you could use this, the typical two-pin Baofeng Kenwood-style programming cable. But, but gone are the days of buying a UV5R, and then you got to spend, you know, the extra money and get the programming cable. Then you got to walk through it. Remember when Chirp came out? That made it so much easier than using the Baofeng made, you know, manufacturer-made software, right? So this is the TID radio, uh, the, the TID H3. And they have several variants. In fact, there's another one coming out that's got a little more features with a backlit keypad. We'll show you that. This one's the H3. And they sent one to me and said, hey, play with it. Don't make a video yet. See what you think about it. That started with this one, right? Never made a video on this. But played with it, upgraded some firmware. They fixed some bugs. And this has Bluetooth as well. They also make a GMRS version. But um, this one right here, the H3, uh, that's the H8, the H3 with Bluetooth, uh, a nice color screen, great sounding audio, and for $42. This is why I always said in the past that I like these radios and I'm glad they exist. I do have a Yaesu FT5D. I do have an Icom 52. Those are great radios too. But ask somebody who's new into the hobby to go blow $500 on a handheld. Even if they're just using it for a typical repeater, well, for $42, this thing sounds damn good. So. I'll show you about this and look in the description below on Amazon. There's a uh, affiliate link there for uh, the sale, but they're having a discount. So you got like five days, I think. And then there's another model coming out and the ones that also come out. But in the in the beginning, before they had Bluetooth on these, um, before the H8 and the other ones, they came out with the model or the module that plugs into the side. And that was how you could Bluetooth to your radio to program it, read and write, and, and upgrade firmware and stuff. Now you can do it right from built into the radio, you know? Pretty cool. I, I actually think that's a neat uh, idea. So let me zoom in a little bit and show you um, about this. So the little H3, uh, same voice on here. Welcome. Sounds like a bow thing, right? Nice uh, color screen that's got the information on there that you would need. Back in the day, to get a, a, a better standby time on something like a UV5R, you had to get the, remember the big, long, extended battery to stick way out here? Those were cool, because it made you really feel like you had an HTX202 Radio Shack handheld in your hand. Well, the technology of these batteries uh, is, is quite impressive for the little size that it is, right? Now, um, the newer ones I see on Amazon come with two antennas, one specifically for the airband receive and one for VHF, UHF. Um, this one, for some reason, or else I lost it, did not come with that. Now, this is a, a, primarily the TD-H3. Uh, typical SMA connector on the antenna, SMA female on the antenna, SMA male on the radio. Nothing's changed in there. We could use the same type of extended frequent or extended range antennas, you know. Cool thing about this is because it's dual VFO and the backlight timer, you can change that so that it doesn't time out. I guess it's a battery saving feature. Um, there's a, a, a channel A and a channel B and you got two independent PTT buttons on the side. Pretty cool. So if you have a repeater on one and simplex on the other, you could just do it this yeah. way. The reason I'm saying cancel is because 
it's on airband right now and uh, you can't transmit on AM airband. But if I had a repeater here on A and a simplex on B, I could just toggle between instead of having to, you know, that's pretty neat, I think, with, you know, dual watch, all right? It's got a dual watch button here. Um, but the, like I said, the most impressive thing, oh, and it does have a flashlight. We always need a flashlight, and I'm gonna tell you what, when the Baofeng EV5R first came out, it had a flashlight, and every one of them did. And I, I gotta tell you, that flashlight in the dark outside has actually come in useful many a time. Just by hitting the button and using a flashlight. No, it's not an O light or any kind of mag light, but it works. There's a flashlight on there. Who doesn't want a flashlight in their radio, right? Um, but the Bluetooth. I'm gonna show you the app here. And, and by the way, um, if I go into the menu, uh, a lot of the things on the menu are pretty reminiscent of what you would find on a lot of other radios. You know, bandwidth, um, there is, you know, a C AM airband. You turn that off and on here. And if you program it, it's a lot easier. If you, if you direct entry in the beginning, it's not going to let you turn on air, AM airband until you enable it in the menu, okay? Uh, bandwidth, wide and narrow, squelch, transmit power. Uh, power save, step, backlight, 15 seconds. We're going to change that right now. We'll put that on 30 seconds. Right? Okay. And Vox, timeout timer, uh, busy, wait, LED, receive, transmit, DCS, and CTCSS. I know you want to see this stuff probably as I'm talking, but, you know, a lot of the features in here, I don't see anything too out of the norm of regular with one of these radios. So, kind of familiar. Two different ways to charge it. People always ask about this. USB-C comes with the cable. Yes, we're using USB-C. There are some people that yell about other radios that are just coming out that use micro USB because we're in 2024. Thankfully, everybody's got USB-C now and TID Radio chose to implement that. Or drop-in charger, which is also powered by USB-C and it comes with the cable and the charging brick. And this cable, as I said, also doubles as a programming cable if you don't want to use the app. And yes, you can use it with Chirp, you can use it with their software. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, one more thing that I wanna show you. <clears throat> and my voice is hoarse. You know, I had COVID for the last, uh, coming on seven days today. So uh, I'm pretty much getting out of it, but man, what a, that was the most, the first time I ever had it. And that was the most painful <laughs> flu I've ever had and my wife got it and now my mom has it from me and my wife unfortunately so that's why my voice is uh, whatever so they give you a PTT button now this was something that some companies gave on other uh, radios years ago this also charges USB C and this is a PTT button so if you are say maybe on a motorcycle you could, you know, if you're riding a bike or you're riding a motorcycle, you can pair this with Bluetooth and then you could, you know, put maybe an earpiece on here. Um, I cannot test this with Bluetooth audio with an earpiece because I don't have an earpiece. I haven't used one of those things in years. Those are so old, dated, out fat, outdated, old fashioned, whatever. Uh, but maybe I'll try that with the Bluetooth in the truck. I'm not sure if this will work on Bluetooth so that it comes out your car speakers, but if it did, and if it does, you can use the PTT button here and just, you know, KJ4YZI, you know, um, and do it that way. So, you know, I got to tell you, uh, a Yaesu or ICOM, although a, a much well-vested radio for many, many years, doesn't have Bluetooth programming in it or a Bluetooth PTT that I know of. So, you know, you have to buy the RT systems and do it that way, but that's no big deal. I'm not bashing, I'm not comparing this to a $600 radio, I am not. This is right now what I see in the link is a $42 radio, and that's a really good price, so I'm glad to get, you know, people an option to get into radio without having to break the bank, because, you know, we won't even go there. I'll turn a lot of people off. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's turn on the app here, and maybe I should move the camera angle. Yeah, let me do that. Easy as pie. I was just playing with this on the couch, right? So you turn your radio on, which is already on, and make sure the Bluetooth is on right here, which is a little Bluetooth uh, symbol here, right? And then connect Bluetooth, and it's going to ask you access this device's location. I'm not sure why either, but I'll hit only this time. 
here it is. I'll slide that on. Okay, and then select model, TID radio. And by the way, this, this app does work with, with um, Baofeng and, and others, and, and that's using not built-in USB uh, a Bluetooth, but if you have the device that plugs into the side here, um, which I showed in a previous video, it just plugs right into the speaker and microphone port, and then you can program a lot of radios, but this one's got it built in. So we'll do uh, TID radio H3 read there it is huh so it's reading right from the radio and then you could i think there's 200 memories on here 199 memories and you know what do you expect for a 42 dollars radio um you know that's plenty of memories for me to to use this you know with uh, various things around here um you know i mean yeah a, a d-star radio like my 52a will uh, definitely hold more than that and whatever, but I don't need all that. I, you know, for the average, this is geared for people that want to communicate at a budget price, right? So you got channel one all the way to 199. So basically like channel two, put in your, uh, your frequency. We'll just do, um, we'll do 146.520. Transmit 146.520 right uh, and then there's decode and encode for ctcss transit power hide wide or narrow save come on phone screen right and then you could do repeater list which now this um is pretty interesting <clears throat> this um I don't, i'm not sure where this is coming from but look there's the melbourne repeater i talked about i could hit like this there it is right and I could import that to the radio if I went like this, right? W4MLB, W4OT, uh, W4AKH, right? We'll do that, import, okay? And then also, let's say channel two is the simplex I have, right? And then if you go into here also, function, you have, you could set the, the squelch level, you could set voice prompt, turn the voice on or off, um, you know, priority, uh, keep the Roger beep off, by the way, please. I, I know a lot of these radios have Roger beep, like the bow thing. You don't want it on ham radio unless you're using it for something like out in the woods on a GMRS or FRS, or not GMRS, FRS frequency or something like that. Um, you know, so all this stuff here, mic gain, breath bed. I'm not sure what that is. Stun and kill, power on messages, um, like that, right? So when all you're done, you hit write. And look, I'm writing it right to the radio. I mean, it's that that simple, you know? So I, I really, really like this radio. I think it's, I mean, and you know, if you really want, just ask in the comments and I will give you a sound audio report. We'll set it up and, and uh, you know, I'll talk into it from the radio. And it, 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 I can tell you that if I go to menu, menu. It gets loud. Yeah. Like he was older than others in attendance, which uh, I fear will happen to me if I went to Lollapalooza. Which I was thinking about. It this, gets loud. The upcoming Lollapalooza sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good, but you can, you can stream that one on YouTube. That's the news on junkie on Real Radio. How dare you? Okay, so in recap, let me show you. Here's the 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 link is in the description for this here. This is uh, on sale for $40.99 with two batteries and the aviation antenna, which is uh, included in that one. You can also get an entire pack with a speaker mic. Uh, you can get clear crystal color or green. And just to go over a couple more specs here, I just want to show you a couple things. Um, so here's all the frequencies that will cover on receive for AM, receive for airband. Okay, uh, FM 50 to 76, which might be in a different region i'm not sure broadcast at all goes below 88 in the united states um so you have fm radio and actually you know what you'd be able to receive 54 megahertz for six meters on fm so uh and maybe some fm on four meters i'm not sure uhf uh, transmit receive receive all the way up to 600 and 136 174 174 to 350 350 to 400 a couple other 
uh, and, and again, OD Master, Chirp, or the CPS program software, and that's, you know, you could use that with Bluetooth, USB cable, a programming cable, two pin, that goes on the side. Um, as I said, wireless radio uh, replication, cloner radio right there in the field over Bluetooth. Um, DTMF call mode selections. You can actually call uh, certain, you know, uh, radios with a certain DTMF call so selective calling individual radios disabling radios uh, and stuff like that um so you know I, I think it's i think it's a really good deal and uh you know i i don't they're directly comparing it to something like a bow thing but i i can't see anything wrong with uh and a lot of good reviews I gotta say so in my opinion um this one you know this one is obviously smaller than the h8 okay uh, in my opinion they fit really good in your hand. Um, this one, I, I kind of like this one feel better. I wish this was the size of this. That's just me. I like a, a decent size radio. Um, and, you know, the, actually the screen on the H8 is bigger than the H3. But some people want a smaller screen. And this thing is micro, man. Look at this. This thing. I mean, you could put this a little, you know, belt or, you know, or put the belt clip on and clip it here. It's very small. Um, you could use this for... Uh, uh, public, you know, business band if you wanted to. If you're not a ham radio operator, having some of these where you can clone multiple radios and just say, hey guys, bring me your radios and just clone them right there from Bluetooth makes it really easy and a lot better than buying those little blister pack radios or whatever that sometimes are just real clunky, you know? So um, I appreciate TID Radio sending me uh, these kind of models. And, and by the way, you know, I have the new talk pod that come out. This is the older one. But, guys, these radios, um, I don't need all of them. And whenever I meet someone that just gets their license, I give them away. So the best thing is for me to be able to knock out a video and show you guys something that's affordable, that works. But then I give them to my wife, my son, uh, people at HamFest. Man, I just got my license. Look, look, I'm a tech. Now i got to buy a radio. Well, if I got one with me or if I, I, I've done it before, I shipped it to them on YouTube. Sit here, man. Have a radio on me. I don't need to sell these anymore or keep them or use them all. I got a couple put away uh, from TID Radio, actually, that I keep, you know, one in the go bag, one in here. I give one to my best friend during the uh, hurricane. We can talk back and forth and stuff like that. So I'm glad that these things are still coming my way so I can pass them forward and give them to other people uh, that, you know, really need to get that excitement and get motivated to get on ham radio if you want my opinion to get motivated this looks a little more fun and interesting to somebody that's brand new than a baofeng uv5r and the baofeng uv5r started all this so i'm not bashing that at all it's just um it's it's good that it's good that these options exist that's all i gotta say thanks for watching everybody Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.